Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over setting up a LinkedIn Ads Business Manager account. So let's jump right into it. Um, just to go over the benefits first, so you can use the Business Manager account to have a single view of all your ad accounts, pages, and match audiences. You can use it to manage access and permission levels. So if you're an agency and you have multiple ad accounts, you can assign certain people to um, the ad accounts within your business manager. You can share match audiences between multiple ad accounts. So for one of my clients, they have like four different pages for um, different segments of their business and they can have that all in one view and share their match audiences um, easily between those ad accounts. And then there's also a revenue attribution report. That's only available if you're using Salesforce or Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRMs, um, but you can use that to um, pull in some of your CRM data so you can track how effective um, in your LinkedIn ads are, uh, essentially the return on investment of your LinkedIn ads. Um, so there's some reporting there. So to go over how to create your business manager account, I'll put this link in the description below, but you go to this page and then you click create business manager and that will create your business manager account. And then um, this is what it'll look like once you create your business manager account. And if you wanna access the business manager in the future, future you can go to this page and click sign in or you can go into your uh, LinkedIn ads campaign manager. And if you click your profile icon on the far right, you'll see the go to business manager uh, link there too. So you can access it that way. But after you create your account, this is what it looks like inside the LinkedIn business manager account. I'll just quickly run through uh, the different sections and then we'll add a account to this business manager. So there's a the partner section where you can link another business manager account um, to this business manager. There's the people section, and this is where you can invite people to your business manager. There's different roles, so you can add an admin, an employee, or a contractor, and um, enter their work email there and add them that way. And then there's the ad accounts. And this is where you can claim an ad account or you can request access. I'll show you how to request access in a minute here to an ad account. And then you can also remove access to ad accounts. And then there's the pages section and you can also add a page that your company owns or request access to a company page. And then there's the match audience section. Um, so this is where the match audiences will show for the different ad accounts that you own. And then there's the revenue attribution section. And again, you can connect uh, your Salesforce or Microsoft Dynamics here and pull in uh, that data from the CRM into here to review kind of more of a full funnel reporting. Um, and then there's the invoices section. So if you're on monthly invoicing for that accounts, that will uh, those invoices will show here. And then there's the settings section where you can connect your CRM or to some other business integrations. For now, we're going to go into the ad accounts and we're going, I'm going to show you how to um, request access to ad account. So in here, you're going to go to ad accounts. And then if you're requesting access, you'll click request access CSV. And what you'll need to do is download the request ad accounts access CSV template. So this is what it looks like. There's a few different columns here, but you'll have to add the account ID. So if you're working with a client, they'll need to provide the account ID to you. And you put that in there and then you mark with an X in the row for the level of access that you want. So um, in this example, I'm saying I want account manager. So you put a capital X there and then I have the account ID and then you save it as a CSV file. So you don't change any of the other rows or columns, just save it as it is. And then you go back into your business manager account and you click continue and then you add in your CSV. And then you click send request. And it says one account has been added. And because I'm an admin on that account, 
it automatically added it, but um, some of your clients will need to uh, approve the access. So now you have the ad account added, and then you can add a, a page or request access to a page and add any of your employees or contractors to this business manager account. And um, yeah, it's just a nice way to kind of consolidate everything and have a list of all your accounts in one view. And if you want to be sharing those match audiences, you can do that here. Uh, if you have any questions on that, please put them in the comments section. And thanks for watching and have a great day.